What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is a vlog of what I'm eating while I'm traveling this weekend. I left yesterday, which was Thursday, and I traveled to Gatlinburg, Tennessee for a clogging convention, and I'll be here until Sunday. And I wanted to stay like keto the whole time and eat really healthy, especially since I'm exercising like all day today. Today is Friday and all day tomorrow at the convention. So yesterday we left early in the morning and I did bring like some snacks with me, but we ended up stopping at a barbecue place and I was able to get like a plate of pulled pork barbecue with two sides of green beans. It did come with a roll, but I gave that to Penelope, which is my friend's daughter. So she was really happy with the roll. And then we ate um, Mexican food later that night, which I actually got a salad. It was like chicken and avocado with olives and like pico and cheese and ranch dressing and so i didn't have like any chips or anything like that so that was the salad and it was like really really good i really like that salad and we stopped by walmart to get um a couple things that we needed and so i brought some like canned olives and pickles and some pistachios and like chocolate and stuff with me but then i also went grocery shopping for some of the meals that i'm gonna have over the next couple days so today i did get bacon and eggs in case i was hungry for breakfast time but i'm gonna have a cup of coffee with heavy cream and then i also got um some cold brew with heavy cream so that way i can take some cold brew with me to the convention center and then i will show you what i packed for my lunch later on because i packed like a bunch of different things depending upon what i was hungry for um so you guys get to see what i'm bringing for travel for that one too mm -hmm. Seven and eight, one and a two and five, six, five. So it is six o'clock, got back from the convention. Didn't get to show you guys what I was eating there. I was just like really, really busy. And so I'll show you like what I brought. I had cut up um, well, I had a bag of radishes and half of a cucumber and carrots in here. So this is all that's left. It was like half a bag of radishes and half a bag. Well, no, probably like a quarter bag of carrots, but it was half of a cucumber. And then I had some cubed cheese. There's pepper jack, cheddar, and gouda in here. And then I took a can of olives and pickles. So I'm just going to like fill these bags back up and take those again. The vegetables... I ate with this homestyle ranch. It doesn't have the best ingredients, but I just needed like little packs to take with me. I also had guacamole, but I didn't end up opening them. And I did have a Coke Zero, which, you know, it's not the best, but it was delicious since I was clogging. And then you saw I had the cold brew with some heavy cream. And I have this, I might drink that tomorrow or tonight i'm not sure when i came home i also had this i got this at the store so it was just strawberry halo top so i had a little bit of that um, when i got back i also had some pistachios and turkey sticks that i have like still up in my backpack and then i brought like 90 percent dark chocolate for like a sweet thing and i do have some almond butter but i didn't end up even like having any of that i think that was all that i had for like lunch slash breakfast or whatever i did get eggs and bacon at the store in case i wanted to have breakfast this morning or tomorrow morning i might have it tomorrow morning actually and i'm about to cook dinner right now so i got the miracle noodles at walmart because we stopped at walmart show so i have two packs of those that i'm gonna heat up with some of this italian sausage and i got the rao's um, sauce. I also did get some butter and these are my friends. Um, some butter and two avocados um, just in case I needed those and I'm also going to mix some broccoli with this I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this up for dinner so I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, I ended up not heating up the broccoli because I felt like I wasn't going to be able to eat the whole thing. So this is just the noodles and the sauce and the sausage for now and I can eat the broccoli tomorrow like because I had so many vegetables today for lunch 
Um, and so I was really hungry for like just meat and sauce and noodles. So this is my dinner. again I think it's six o'clock um, and I just made dinner I was at the convention all day long today again and I had brought the same um, like lunch that I had yesterday so I ate radishes cucumbers and carrots with some ranch I had some like uh, turkey sticks and some cheese and pickles and olives and pistachios and dark chocolate and I had cold brew with cream so I um, had a lot of snacks and stuff or like as my meal for lunch, but I literally just like, I clog so much and exercise so much. So like I'm starving at night when I get home. So, um, or home as in the cabin. So let me show you um, what I cooked for dinner tonight. And tonight is our last night here. And so we're gonna be traveling in the morning. I think we're stopping for breakfast though. So hopefully I can order something off the menu like bacon and eggs or sausage and eggs or like something like that. So just in case you wanted to get a little tour, um, I am upstairs in this like little bedroom loft thing. And so I have my own bathroom. And then down here is the whole like living room and the kitchen. And then um, my friends are staying in the bedroom that's down there. So I'm gonna show you what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Okay, so I made just some frozen cauliflower rice in the microwave and I added a bunch of butter and salt. I have a whole avocado. I roasted some Brussels sprouts. They were just like halved and I roasted them with butter and salt. And then I put some nutritional yeast on top. And then these are just some like Cajun and dewy sausages like Sam's Club. They were already like cooked, but I heated them up in the oven. So it's like technically all natural, no nitrates or whatever. Um, so this is what I'm eating for dinner time. And I do have some Irish tea with heavy cream that I'm drinking. So that is, and I think it's, yeah, it's 627. So that's what I'm having right now. Okay, so it's like 830 and I am eating some Halo Top strawberry ice cream. Actually, that's what I ate like last night. Um, so I'm going to be eating more of this. I haven't started eating it yet, but that's the nutrition information. It has like sugar alcohols because it has erythritol, I believe. Um, I'm afraid my spoon's going to fall out. Okay. There we go. So that's the ingredients. I really love pretty much all of the Halo Top flavors. The strawberry is just so, so good. And I'm going to eat some of this. Um, that's probably the last thing I'm eating tonight. I also, well, I had a cup of tea with dinner and I'm just reading my book. And so that's what I'm doing tonight. I looked at the menu for the breakfast place that we're going to tomorrow and um, they have like pretty much everything comes with like pancakes. So it's like, oh, an omelet but with three pancakes or like, you know, eggs and sausage, but like with three pancakes. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna order off their sides menu. You can get like one egg or two eggs and then you can get like sausage, which is four lengths or bacon, which is like four pieces. So depending upon like how hungry I am, I think we're leaving here at like 9.30 a.m. and we are losing an hour because tomorrow is the time change. But depending upon how hungry I am, like I'll probably get a cup of coffee and then I might get like two eggs and like an order of sausage or bacon or something like that. And so, yeah, like breakfast is pretty easy to eat out just because you can get like eggs and meat. Um, I mean, I guess all of the like the Mexican was really easy too, just because like I could have gotten like fajitas and just not eaten like the flour tortillas or whatever. Um, so it's been like really, really good. Like I'm actually like really proud of myself for staying keto on this trip. It was like really easy, like a lot easier than I 
thought it was going to be like we stayed keto for our beach trip last year but I haven't really gone on like any other trips and like when you're packing your own food and then eating at a couple of restaurants like it's actually pretty easy so I am proud of myself so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow on the trip back and hopefully show you like breakfast and yeah okay so today is monday i actually got back from my trip yesterday on sunday and i filmed just a little bit of um, us going to breakfast i ended up ordering um two eggs that were like on the side menu and also a side of i think it was called like spicy sausage links and so it came with like four links and so i also asked to add american cheese to my eggs um so i think my total bill was like six dollars and 84 cents like nothing spectacular or anything um but it was actually really really good and i guess if i was even hungrier like you could have gotten like they had a bunch of different um sides of sausage and bacon or like i could have gotten more eggs than that um but i didn't want to overdo it because i'm used to not really eating in the morning time and i think that was about 9 30 9 45 that we were eating during that time. Then we did stop and get some Starbucks. So I got an Americano with heavy cream, which is just like my go-to, um, you know, when you're keto, that's like the safest bet because you don't have to worry about actually like having sugars and stuff in there. And then once I got back home, um, Alvin actually had made dinner and I actually didn't get to film any of that, but it was like a shrimp Alfredo. So it was just shrimp, um, zucchini noodles, and also the shirataki like, um, noodle like miracle noodle things I love those things and I really like mixing they're the miracle noodles with zucchini noodles or like kelp noodles with zucchini noodles and they're also like the kelp noodles you can travel and they don't have to be refrigerated so that would be like a really good thing if you are traveling um, and you just have to like boil them in water or soak them in warm water for a little bit if you want to like you know do that as a traveling tip sorry this vlog seems like it's all over the place I was just really busy this weekend and so the way that I like wanted to show you guys things didn't really end up turning out the way that I thought it was going to be but at least I did still get to kind of like talk to you guys about what I was eating and show you a little bit show you what I ordered at the restaurants etc like that if you do like sorry that's like my washing machine that keeps making that noise if you do like these like traveling vlogs or if you want me to actually do like a sit down video or before I travel next time if you want me to do a sit down video of everything that I'm gonna bring or when I went to the grocery store like film everything that I bought at the grocery store um I was gonna do that this time but I just didn't end up having enough time so I would like to do that next time if that's something that you're interested in I know that a lot of you said that you do have some trips coming up and I don't believe I have any trips coming up right now but I am going to be going to BookCon um, the beginning of June and then we're going to the beach at the end of June and so again I'm gonna try and travel and cook and stuff all keto that whole time maybe I'll like work on some good uh, traveling recipes here for the channel but I hope that you enjoyed this video definitely leave me a comment down below if you did and i will see you all in my next video bye guys